Hi muckers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for waiting for me to talk about this. I know a lot of people were disappointed that I, I didn't immediately talk about this. Um, I didn't know what my opinion was and it kind of caught me off guard. Um, but Rosanna Pansino basically talked about uh, Colleen Ballinger and everything that went down. And whenever I opened my timeline and saw it, I mean, it was like, it, this happened like 10 days ago or something like that. When I opened my timeline and saw it, my first thought was just confusion. So I didn't really want to talk about it until I gathered what my my thoughts were. Um, and I'm going to be honest, I really have only seen Becky's response to it. Um, I, I kind of haven't been, I know Trisha responded to it. I know I saw um, like Angelica, I saw Spill Sash, I saw Peter Mon. I saw they had all done videos on it. I haven't watched anything on it because if I'm being a hundred percent real with you I have been doing such good progress behind the scenes um when it comes to mentally dealing with what happened this summer and I just really haven't been consuming that much media to do with the topic or to do with Colleen Ballinger um so that was really why I didn't even tweet about it I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with you because I read it and went I don't care now, I, I hope that doesn't sound too harsh if people were really excited to hear my opinion of it. But I just kind of was like, Rosanna Pansino's talking about Colleen. Okay. All right. Let me hear what she has to say. But I really don't care either way. And I know I've probably said in the past I've wanted to hear her opinion. But I think I'm mentally at the stage now where... I have done so much behind the scenes progress on dealing with the Colleen topic that I really don't care what anyone's opinion is on like Colleen or me and Colleen or anything anymore. Um, but I do have an opinion on this because I have sat on it. I know I'm going to contradict myself. Be like, I don't have an opinion, but I do have an opinion. But I mean, for the first like 10 days that this was up, I literally didn't even read this in its entirety until I started streaming um, or one of the last days. Um, and my friend had sent it to me after I was on stream and I read it and I was just kind of like, okay, like I didn't, I didn't rush to see what she had to say. Um, but I do appreciate her saying something on it. And before I get into it, I also want to say that Ro Rosanna did reach out to me and she also followed me on Instagram and Twitter, but I've just seen that she has unfollowed me on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> Thank you so much for following me, Ro. I really appreciate it. I loved the week that you followed me and then unfollowed me. It was... <laughs> Whatever. Girl, why'd you follow me if you were just going to unfollow me days later? Whatever. Whatever. Anyway. She followed me and she had DM'd me. And I never got back to her DM, hence why she probably unfollowed me. Um, and her DM said something along the lines of referencing what happened with her and Mr. Beast. And she was like, something along the lines of, hey, um, thank you for covering my story. I appreciate it. If you ever want to talk, I'd be down to talk. Something like that, right? And I didn't get back to her because my opinion of it, even though I can read what she has to say about Colleen Knight and kind of take it with a pinch of salt because I don't really hold any of these people's opinions to a high standard. I personally, if I'm being dead honest with you, did not want to do an interview or did not even want to speak with Rosanna Pansino behind the scenes about anything to do with her because she, to my knowledge up until this point, was one of the people endorsing Colleen Ballinger the most on social media. Now, I'm not holding anything against her. 100% get it. They were work colleagues. They made so many videos. I don't dislike her for that. I don't hate her for that. I just didn't want to talk to her because I don't want to talk to someone with the fear of, oh my God, this is who you're friends with. What are you going to tell them that I said? Or what are your intentions in talking with me? So if I'm being 100% honest, Ro, if you see this, anyone, if you see this, I didn't talk to you about Mr. Beast pers or privately because up until that point, it, it seemingly looked like you were still best friends with Colleen Ballinger. I mean, you're probably the person that has made the most collabs with her online, including this banger of a video. Eating cookies with my breast milk with Rosanna Pansino, the classic, of course. So it was nothing against her personally. It was something that I just felt within myself. Um, I just didn't feel like I, you know, wanted to talk to her privately. That's fine. Um, but yeah, that was one of the reasons. So whenever I saw that she posted about Colleen, because I, 
being 100% honest with you, because I've been working through so much behind the scenes, I don't really hold anyone but myself's opinion to do with what happened with me and Colleen higher than my own opinion of it. That was something that I had to deal with for a lot. Hearing a lot of opinions over summer meant that a lot of things went in and out of my ear. And at the end of the day, I just have to prioritize my opinions on the situation. And I don't like too much outside noise because I can't handle it. So my opinion of this is we will read it together. We will hear what she has to say. I appreciate that she said something. And we'll go from there, okay? We'll go from there. So here's what she said. Addressing your questions about Colleen. The whole situation makes me feel sad and breaks my heart. I'm still processing my feelings. I do believe that the behavior was inappropriate, mean-spirited, and I no longer communicate with her. Okay. I find out when everyone else did, perhaps even later. When the news broke, I was traveling out of state to pick up all of the things my dad left for me after he passed away and to help my mom go through more of his belongings. It was emotionally exhausting. I was not online much at all because I was focusing on my own healing with my family. Absolutely valid. Absolutely valid. Absolutely valid. I have not said anything publicly for a few reasons. Okay. So let's get to the reasons. Number one, oh, you can't see it, sorry, for party rocking. I do not have any new information or insight to add. I never personally witnessed that kind of behavior. I wasn't aware of it, nor did I participate. Babe, thank God you didn't participate. What the fuck does that mean? My memories of our time together with her family was very wholesome. My nephew adored her son and they loved playing together. Obviously, I don't support or condone the behavior that was made public. Okay. Number two, I feel that the most important thing in this situation is that the affected people's voices are heard, which I believe they now are. Number three, I like to hear both sides when possible. While it's easy to jump on the side of public opinion, I was hoping for some sort of apology or explanation at some point, which hasn't happened. Now, this was the only thing that rubbed me the wrong way. I'm going to be honest. Now, this final paragraph that she has, I do want to touch on. But this part felt very, very, very weird to me. I'm going to be honest. She says, I like to hear both sides when possible. Both sides are out there. We've got the ukulele video in which she says that she was a creepy person, creepy aunt, whatever the fuck. She shouldn't have talked to kids, whatever. And she also gave her side in 2020. It is unfair for Ro to say that she likes to hear both sides because both sides were out. And I also don't appreciate her saying it's easy to jump on the side of public opinion. I think that's bullshit, Ro, because public opinion has been on Colleen Ballinger's side for all of the years that you were friends with her. So I don't know what you fucking mean by that. <laughs> I like to hear, I'd like to, you know, not go with public opinion. Public opinion was on your friend's side while you were still working with her, while everything was out there. So that is bullshit. And I don't appreciate that being used. No offense. Sorry. I was hoping for some sort of apology or explanation at some point, which hasn't happened. She made an apology in 2020. It got debunked in 2023. So there's that. And also she made the video in 2023 singing, you know, little la 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 la, where she said, basically confirming that these things happened. Ro, I don't appreciate this. And I think it's bullshit. I appreciate everything else you've said. I think that's a little bit of a slap in the face. Sorry. But anyway, let's get to this last paragraph. I don't want to focus too much on the negativity because I, I don't care to, if I'm being honest. She said, I hope people come to understand that peer pressuring others to speak on issues before they're ready can be unhealthy. Please be mindful that everyone processes emotions differently and at different speeds. My timeline is not someone else's timeline. I am learning that I tend to process things slower and that's okay. Now, here's my thing. I agree with what she's saying there. Um, while I think it's... This is a double-edged sword to me. Rosanna has, again, like I've said, been one of the most consistent people promoting Colleen Ballinger on YouTube. And this summer, we witnessed people that have made one video with her, one tweet with her, say that I just want my followers to know I don't stand behind the behavior that is being said or being done. Now, Roe is on a completely different level of that because she has made so much content with her. 
We had people like Tyler Oakley coming out of the woodworks to talk about this. We had, you know what I mean? So I don't necessarily know if it's peer pressure, if people are saying, this looks like one of your best friends, do you support your best friend doing this? I don't think that's peer pressure. What I do agree with you on, because I'm in a good mood today, yippee, what I do agree with you on is that we should be focusing on people like Colleen talking rather than people like Ro. Now, I do feel like that's pretty fair to say. I do feel that that's pretty fair to say. I appreciate that she has now came out and said this, even if certain things are kind of iffy. I appreciate it. And I feel bad that she felt pressured to say something. Because obviously, how can you expect someone to say something genuine if they're being pressured to? But I also think it's important to note that if you're so closely aligned with someone and they are called out for something, kind of morally, you should want to say something instead of being peer pressured into it. So quite like Ro, I guess my response is sitting on the fence. I guess we both have that in common, Ro. I agree with you and I disagree with you. The same way apparently you do with this. We can both sit on that fence together and dangle our legs, queen. That's my opinion on it. Now, Becky responded and said, we love Becky. Can we get some love for Becky in the chat? Becky is so amazing behind the scenes as well. Love you, Becky. At the end of the day, what's crazy to me is that all of these other YouTubers and public figures can put out statements regarding the situation, but Colleen herself can't. I think that's a great point. And... Xander responded and said, Colleen has been dead silent for literally months and is incapable to act like an adult and just say something. She'd rather forsake her platform, with which good luck saving it anyway, and leave people she affected in the dust to address the audience, address the people she's hurt and uh, said, or sad, anything of actual substance, pathetic. And Becky responded and said, I'm just genuinely shocked at this point, not because I think she cares, but because I'm genuinely shocked she didn't try harder to save her career and make it look somewhat okay. So, again, I do not hold anything against Roe for not speaking about Colleen Ballinger. I didn't want to talk to her privately about Mr. Beast because I didn't want to talk with Col one of Colleen Ballinger's friends behind the scenes, regardless of the topic. So, Roe, it wasn't anything personal. I'm aware that you have now unfollowed me on social media, presumably because of that. That's fine. Do what you want, Queen. Uh, we now know that she no longer has communication with her. I think this statement is as good as it gets. You know, she said that I no longer communicate with her. All the times I've had with her have been great. And I like to hear both sides and I don't want to jump on public opinion. I think it's a little bit of a slap in the face, but you know what? She made her statement and she made her statement. That's fine. That's fine. So, I don't have anything else further to say other than that. I'm sorry if this was underwhelming, but quite like her statement, some things in life are underwhelming. <laughs> sorry. Um, no, I'm going to be honest. All love to her. I'm sorry that she felt pressured into saying this. I understand why she was pressured into saying something because she has such a long-standing history with her publicly. I understand it. I also feel bad that she had to go, go through the process of people forcing her to say something. I never think someone should be forced into saying something because it will never give a genuine response. Um, but I appreciate her saying something and I'll leave it like that. Um, I don't hold anything any one of her friends or ex-friends holds. I don't, I don't hold anything they say to a higher, high standard anymore. So this is kind of like in one ear out the other ear for me. But if the, if the audience wanted to hear it, then the audience wanted to hear it. You know what I mean? I now feel that I could talk to Ro privately like she wanted because I now know that she's not friends with Colleen Ballinger. So that's what I've taken from this that is good. Everything else about I want to I don't want to be on public opinion with Adam. I, I want to hear both sides, whatever. That's I, I don't get sad by that. I don't get happy by that. It means nothing to me. I'm going to be honest. That's it. That's it. So let's move on. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs>